Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I just thought I'd do a quick video on how to stream from a laptop. Um, so I wanted to get into streaming myself and uh, I, was, I was getting a bit frustrated because I wanted to see if you could stream from a laptop rather than having this big clunky computer sat in a space. Uh, and for me, it was just easier having a portable laptop that I could move around, I could whip it in and out and I could stream wherever or whenever I wanted. So let me get into a few things that you're going to need to know about, about streaming from a laptop. Um, so first off, there's not a lot of information out there, uh, whether, you, whether you can or you can't. Uh, some people say you can, um, but it's a little bit woolly and obviously a laptop costs a lot of money. And the price of the laptops, let's face it, they vary from like £300 all the way up to you know two, three thousand pounds uh, if you're buying the best in the market. Um, the one I've bought was the MSI. GL63, um, which is kind of middle of the range. It cost me £1,200, um, but I didn't want to spend out loads, but didn't want to go cheap and then not be able to have the performance that I need. Um, so the one I've got is uh, has got an Intel uh, Core i7 9th gen processor, um, and a, uh, I've got a uh, GeForce GTX 1660 Ti um graphics card now it's definitely worth getting the i7 i would say the i5 would be okay but the problem you'll have is in about a year's time the i5 probably will be redundant especially when the ps5 comes out um as you can see probably i you probably see it from here but i stream from ps4 um originally was doing it straight from the console but uh decided to upgrade to a better setup so a few other things you'll need to know um, is there's a lot more to buy than what you first think. Um, so yes, you will need the laptop. Um, and obviously, personally, I would suggest, say don't go less than £800, really, because the chances are you're not going to get the graphics card um, or the processor that can handle streaming, um, especially if you're streaming from the laptop. And I, I haven't done this yet. Uh, but if you're playing games and you're streaming from a laptop, the chances are your laptop is really going to struggle with it. Uh, and I would suggest going for a much higher graded laptop if you were planning to do that. Um, however, I'm streaming from a console, so the laptop has only got to deal with the streaming and not everything. So guys, uh, a few other things you're definitely going to need to buy. Um, now... You're going to need something for your video and you're going to need something for your uh, audio as well um, because obviously people want to hear you. So uh, I would personally suggest the Logitech C920. Uh, it's a camera and it does um, audio and video. So that's a great choice. You will also need a capture card. Now, there are loads of different brands out there, but most people will use uh, the Elgato HD60S. Um, it's really easy to use. It is a case of just plug it in. It downloads the thing onto your onto your laptop or computer, and and it's job done. Um, it's it's as easy as that. Um, so then that leads me on to my next thing, which is uh, obviously having an appropriate streaming program. Now there there are loads out there. Um, I use Streamlabs because it's probably one of the easiest to use. It's not that complex. Um, now that being said, it still it still is complex. It's not the easiest, and trying to get your setup correct um, takes a bit of time. It, it's it's not really that simple. Um, you have to change loads of different settings to be able to get it to work. Um, uh, you know, you might have your video, but then it could be streaming at the wrong setting. It could be 720 rather than 1080. It might be picking up your audio for your game, but not your voice. Uh, and vice versa. So there's loads of different things, and there's you know setting up bit rates and etc. And then obviously then linking that uh, Streamlabs, for example, to either your Twitch or YouTube account um, to get the gameplay going properly. Um, so guys, in summary, yes, you can stream from a laptop. Um, it does need to be okay quality. It, you can't get a, a cheap three hundred pound laptop, four hundred pound laptop, and be able to stream. That won't work, and especially over the next year or two, that won't work at all. Um, realistically, I would suggest a gaming laptop 
The reason is, is because it's going to have a higher graphics card, so therefore it can cope uh, with the all the video going through the uh, HD 60s Elgato. Um, but that would be my advice. Yeah, I would stick with a Intel Core i7, um, specifically that or higher. Um, and I would say that I mean I've got the Nvidia GeForce uh, 1660. I wouldn't say get a lower graphics card than that. So that pretty much sums it up, guys. Um, if you like the video, please uh, drop it a thumbs up and uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section. And um, if you've got any questions on anything else, because there's probably a lot more I've missed, let me know and I can answer it. Cheers, guys.